What's up YouTube, it's Todd Horst here with Tasty Tracker. I'm gonna jump right in here. Today I rolled the AMD position out another month. It was in April, now we've got it out in May. Uh, I didn't change the strikes or the quantity. That's all the same. Um, and why did I decide to do that? Well, if I wanted to roll it, uh, it was only a couple dollars. And we can see here the sole leg is 50. Uh, and we're sitting at right at um, 47 48 dollars so it's really close to actually being profitable even at its current um, at its previous expira uh, expiration of course this is already rolled so it's a little hard to show you um, but the diagram looked pretty much like this uh, or the the payoff yeah the payoff diagram um, which if we get another day like today um, or slightly better that would push us right into the profitable area um, however I would rather have 50% gain than 100% gain and the reason that is is because a 50% gain um, it will be 100% uh, chance we'll say um, or a higher chance of happening if you're given more time. So if you had infinite amount of time and you wanted to just get 50% of your profit, um, that seems feasible. But if I'm only given, uh, what are we at here, 18 more days to hold that position, um, then I'm a little uncertain. Yes, I think we can make it above 50 in the next uh, 18 days, but will it hold that at time of expiration for me to actually get 100%? And what you would see is um, as it's crossing above the $50 mark, you'll see this position whipsaw back and forth to have a good percentage um, profit to uh, no percentage profit. Right now I'm only sitting at 5.8, but um, if you have any experience with rolling positions, you know uh, every broker sort of gets messed up when you roll a position. Okay, so... I rolled this position because it was relatively cheap to roll. If we go into Tasty Tracker, it's it's actually very very simple to roll. So I click on these little dots and I click on Roll and Edit. You can see I've already done it, um, but it cost me four dollars to roll. That I mean, obviously, preferably I would do it for a credit, uh, but I thought to take a four dollar hit was worth saving this. Um, so if we look at uh, how we would normally roll uh, I've shown it before but you would just fill out the strikes like normal if you changed from say a put vertical to an iron condor or vice versa you would just um, switch with the type up here and fill in the necessary fields and hit save that's that's really it um, okay so now if we look at the other positions EWW is again right on the cusp that's a bearish play and I put that on last week I think these other ones, MA for example, is so far off, I'm already at max loss, so there's no benefit to rolling it or closing it. Um, so if we go into MA, I can click on the two strikes and then hit close position. If it wants to cooperate, a lot of times I have to do this twice, I'm not sure if you guys have that too. Okay, so we can see it's 503 is what it would take to close this position. Since it's a $5 wide um, position anyway, that is actually more than max loss. Um, so there's absolutely no reason to not hold on to it another 18 days with the hopes that the market will continue to go up and I can at least close out and get whatever, 30 bucks back. Uh, I'm a, a clearly not going to profit on this position. If we look at the chart here, it, it's way over here. Never going to happen. Um, but I can at least hope to get a couple bucks back. If not, I've really not lost anything. Um, I might still want to close it a week before with uh, the hopes that I won't get exercised because that's an extra five bucks uh, in commissions on Tastyworks. But... Um, but yeah, for now, I'm going to hold that because there's no point in getting rid of it. Microsoft is actually a, a different story here. I have sold the 165 leg, and we're at 160 You know, So coming up another $5, considering we've come up $10 today, 
is completely reasonable in the next 18 days. Here, again, I would rather roll that out, but here's the importance of having um, a cash backup, which I don't have. So if I go to roll, let's see if this actually works. There we go. Okay, uh, we can see the strikes are the same. This is the weekly, so I'm going to go out to the next expiration, next expiration, next expiration. Here we go. Now we're at May, and this is not a weekly, so let's check to make sure the strikes are same, 160, 165. Uh, it's a zero debit, and actually a credit right now. Uh, for a, uh, um, a two dollar debit, we'll say, and reduce by four sixty two. Okay, it's going to let me do it. Um, occasionally, it will s it will want you to have enough margin backup um, in your buying power to close a position and open up again. I don't know if it's just the flakiness of Tastyworks or what. Um, uh, what was the other position here? Apple. Well, just back here. Okay, so Microsoft, we decided, is pretty close. That could win. MA has no value left in it at all. Uh, EWW is close, although I didn't show that, so I can go ahead and show it. Um, it's right there on the cusp, and I need that to be below the 21 or 27. I mean, and we're at 27.25. Um, it was down 2% today, so uh, that's the Mexico e ETF. Um, yeah, so we'll see if that continues to go in my way or not. Uh, okay, but the last position was Apple for the next expiration. Now, I'm really only concerned about the next expiration because I've got 18 days. It's getting close to the expiration month. Uh, what is that, tomorrow? I don't, I don't know how many days. Yeah, okay, so Wednesday's the last day of the month. Um, so I want to start hedging my bets uh, and or... That's, I mean, not actually. I want to start uh, managing my positions, I should say that. Okay, so if we go to Apple, um, it's kind of the same thing here where it's not going to happen. I sold the 315, and right now we're at 252. So it's got to come up uh, 65 bucks uh, in 18 days. So if I go to close position, again, since this is the 315, 310, that would be $5 wide, and the closing cost to buy this back is hovering in between, um, it was like 480 and, and 503 that I've seen throughout the day. Um, so again, that's a position I'll leave on. Uh, but AMD, on the other hand, was sort of like Microsoft where um, it's coming very, very close. It has uh, a little bit further to go. Um, AMD only moved $1.29, that is 2% change today because it's a smaller priced stock um but uh yeah it's, it's got to go a little bit further than what i was comfortable with in the 18 days so all i did was click these two roll position and again preferably I, you would get a credit for doing that but i did not um yeah so that was my day that i today that i spent on um my options i closed out in my larger uh, accounts i closed out what still had some value like actual value so if i could get 100 or 200 bucks out of a position that expired i had a couple like that so i closed those out and just got my money back um, and and took the loss for the ones that were max loss like apple i left on as a lottery ticket hopefully um, the market moves my way, and I can get a little bit of money out of it. Obviously, they're not going to win if I hold to expiration. Um, and then with ones that are very close, like Microsoft and EWW, I just let them on. And they'll probably, like I said, you'll get uh, whipsawed around. This was down by $200 at the beginning of today. And obviously, if um, Microsoft continues uh, this move up here, then you'll you'll see me go from... Uh, being down 150% to being um, being up, obviously not 150%, but I will be up, um, you know, a good 15-20% uh, probably. 
um, if we can get a couple good days in a row. And honestly, that's good enough for me to close that position out and wait till some of the uh, calmness returns to the market till I can do something that I feel more comfortable doing. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say today. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks, guys.